Welcome to this first in-depth video for the DCS AJS 37 Vigan. In this video, we're going to be performing a cold startup, taxiing out, and taking off with the aircraft. Let's go ahead and get started by inserting the data cartridge into the data cartridge slot. The data cartridge comes preloaded with mission information such as waypoints, weapon targeting waypoints, origin and destination airfield, and more. Next, let's go ahead and turn on the main power and low pressure fuel. Go ahead and turn off the master caution. And go ahead and test all your warning lights by pressing the control lamp to blow button. Once satisfied, let go of the button and turn on the high pressure fuel. Make sure the throttle is in the idle position and engage the engine starter system. Note the different indications on the annunciation panel as the starter system goes through its motions. Let's go ahead and turn on our oxygen. Next, turn on the generator. This will provide power to instrumentation and the flight computer. Let's go ahead and close the canopy. While we have inserted our data cartridge, we still need to load all the data from the data cartridge into the flight computer. To do this, we're going to switch to Ref Lola on our data entry panel, switch to the input mode, and input 9099. We're going to input this into the computer by using the LSSKU button. Note the flashing 9, which denotes that the data is currently being loaded into the computer, and when it is complete, it will switch to 0. Let's go ahead and switch to the act pause mode and switch to output. We don't currently need our radar screen, so we're just going to temporarily turn that off. Let's go ahead and make sure the AFK lever is in the upward position. And make sure the reverser light is off. Let's go ahead and center our roll trim and make sure to trim a few degrees nose up for takeoff. Some optional items include making sure your magnetic declination is set correctly, RWR tone and light modes, or backup radio signal modes. Pretty much ready to go now, but since anything can happen, Let's just make sure to arm our ejection seat. Disengage the parking brake and begin to taxi. 